Doug, good morning. Thanks hey, for joining John. us. Glad thanks. to be here. All right, thanks for coming. Tomorrow, it's a big day. Tomorrow's going to be Thanksgiving. So I thought I'd start by telling everyone in the field and everyone all around the world in the United States first, happy Thanksgiving, and thank you so much for everything you do. It means a lot. Absolutely. So we got a lot going on. We do. It is a busy week. It's a fun week. And I thought I'd just start with a couple questions, and maybe the first. Let's talk about the events this week, your career. What are some of the Black Friday events you remember? What are some of the items you remember? And maybe there might be one or two you might want to forget. Yeah, it's definitely an exciting (laughs) time. You know, um, one of the things that goes through my mind is for a few years I had responsibility for electronics and toys and the buyers and what we bought and how much. And so your knees start to shake, you know, and you're super (laughs) nervous starting like six months before the event. And then when the day comes, it's just so exciting to see the merchandise sell and all the preparation that goes into it and how our associates pull it all off. And for a lot of years, I would go up to store 2221 in Springfield, Missouri, because my wife's family lived there and just watched the team execute. And uh, I know what's going to happen again this week, and so much appreciate what everybody's doing to make it happen. Yeah, there's a lot that has to happen, and I've, I've been, uh, let's say, on a bit of a vacation from Walmart for 15 years. I've spent, <laughs> Is that uh, what we're going to call it? Yeah, let's call it that. So, but I've spent 15 years in Sam's Club and working in international in, in China, and things are different. The events aren't quite the same. So I have some really exciting memories when I was a store manager and the anticipation of the crowd. People would line up you know, literally around the building. It was it was really fun. And the excitement when, when we get started was always, you know, exhilarating. But what I've been so impressed with the last few weeks is seeing how organized things are, the way we map items for customers online, Mm -hmm. just seems like there's such a better experience for the people that are working in the stores, Mm -hmm. for customers. It's come a long way. Much better than it used to be. I was in Grants, New Mexico earlier this week, Mm -hmm. and they were receiving all of these, um, this fencing they were going to use to route customers around the building. And based on the truckload of it, it looked like it was going to be a lot of people. But I know they've got a plan and they were working on it while I was there. And I'm sure it'll go really smoothly. I think so. Um, The the flow has gotten better and and we've got great people. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to pass this opportunity to say that it's such a reminder every week when, when we're out. I was in Mustang, Oklahoma Friday night and Wyoming over the weekend. We've got great associates everywhere. Who, we sure do. They are taking care of people, taking care of each other. And, and it's a tough time of year. It's a stressful time of year. But if we take care of each other, uh, there, there's no limit to what we can do. Um, in the last podcast, uh, we had this, this person here, Saul Junta. And Saul was a recipient of the Medal of Honor, and I asked him, a couple questions about what it was like being in a unit and the way he described it is it was the best job I ever had because in a unit the person on my right was taking care of me Mm -hmm. and the person on my left is taking care of me and I was taking care of them and it was just so much it's such a great experience and you got two people taking care of you you don't have to worry about yourself Mm -hmm. and as I'm listening to our teams speak around the country it feels like the same way everybody's got a plan they know the roles and they're excited about having customers yeah, that so, experience pays off. Oh, it does. Um, so thinking back over the years, what was, what were one or two of the items you remember the most that you bought when you were in sporting goods? Oh, toys, one of the, uh, you know, you tend to remember the things that don't sell. Um, that's because sometimes they're still here. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, and you've been reminding me of some oh, of them yeah, yeah. these past few weeks, which I Kath which will be I reminding me of a few next year. <laughs> um, the one that comes to mind right now is we went really long on a desktop computer when I was the GMM in the area, and we bought a lot. I think it was an HP, and it was clear in the first few hours. You know, when you go from the East Coast to the West Coast in the U.S. and you see the event kick off, you can see the sell-throughs um, every 15 minutes, I guess. And mm-hmm. so we knew mm-hmm. we had a problem early on, and uh, the stores just really came through. It took us a couple of weeks to sell them all, but they were a great price. They brought out displays. We put them out in the Action Alley, and we eventually sold through it. But it was a big number. That's the problem with these events. We buy so much of this stuff. If you get it wrong, it's a challenge. But the team lately has done such a good job. Sell-throughs have been strong, and hopefully it'll be the same this year. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Speaking with the team in general merchandise, Sandy Barron and the group, they've got a number, good number of items, about 275 items. Uh, The the plans are strong. It sounds like everything's lined up. But I'm sure we'll know by 6.15 next uh, tomorrow night what it's going to be like. We will. I tell you one more story about, you know, lately what I've been doing on Thursday nights going up after being in the local store, going up to the David Glass Technology Center and watching what happens there. 
And the first time I went, I was shocked because I think I had in my mind the systems are built and people monitor the systems, but there is so much real-time problem solving mm -hmm. going on. It's a little scary mm -hmm. and also impressive, mm -hmm. whether it's the way we process payment or the things that happen behind the scenes that you don't see at store level. They are assessing what's going on and when there's an issue, resolving it and moving quickly, and it's, it's a beauty to behold. I, I was in Sunnyvale, California, a couple of days ago, and I went to the operations command center for the e-commerce site, and and I, I felt the same way. One, it's it's impressive; they're monitoring so many things at once. I, I couldn't even get oriented with how many things they are monitoring yeah. and what to do about it. But it's great. I'm glad to, they know. I'm glad they know because I I'm still thinking about a couple of charts. I don't know what they meant, but uh, but Ben and Jay and the team they're doing such a great job, and it's just great to know there's so many people behind the stores and behind the DCs that. Mm -hmm that keep it all running. Okay, so Christmas is coming up. Um, can't believe I'm saying this, but it's just over four weeks away. What do you want for Christmas? Unbelievable. You know, I, I haven't even thought about that. I, really, the only thing we want is our youngest son lives outside the U.S., and we want him to come home. And he's got an airline ticket. We think he's coming. And so <laughs> um, Shelly and I are really excited about that. Did, How about you? Uh, well, I was going to ask, did you buy him a refundable ticket, or did you buy <laughs> just a ticket he has to use? He handled all of that. He so did, I okay. Know. Okay. How about you? Sometimes, uh, yeah. What I, do you I, want for Christmas? I um, someone asked me this other day, and it, it it was based on where I was standing. They said, "What do you want?" I said, "I just want things to run well, not break." But um, good answer. You know, the, the same the same thing. Uh, my son's uh, he's he lives in Texas uh, in school. My family's here, so if we can get a couple of days where we all get back together and watch the kids pick on each other, fight, that'd be outstanding. It's the best. That'd be the best. Okay, anything else uh, we want to talk about to the field uh, before we finish this up? Just thanks to everybody. We really appreciate the job that folks are doing, and um, we know it's not easy, but it's going to go well. Proud I think of so, them. too. Yeah, me too. And if there are any items that are around Friday, we'll figure it out. But We'll sell them eventually. That's right. But the plan is they're all going to be gone that day. All right. <laughs> One of the people I used to work for merchandising told me the best place to store merchandise is in the customer's home. <laughs> I think that's, <laughs> that's exactly right. right. That's exactly right. Well, we hope to do a lot of that. Thanks for everything.